Hey, I'm Sean. Um, today I'm gonna show you a tube that I created. Um, this was a tube that went from the hot side of your turbo uh, that went down and I deleted the factory muffler and created this device here and uh, wanted to see how it would do, what it would do with my truck. And um, I decided to pull it off today and kind of see how it was doing. And uh, saw this on the back side. Even though those clamps are absolutely tight. Let's go through that. Come down. And this room is so big too, so oil will naturally perspire through this tube. And you see this kind of dripping down here like that. And right now, the scary part is I have a oil separator that um, is already separating out about 60% of the oil and I'm going to see if I can get a good camera view so you can see what it looks like inside. Um, let me tip this up. Like that. Let me see if this works. <laughs> yep, that'll work a little bit. I don't know if you can see the detail of uh, how much oil is caked on, but there's actually, it's like it's cooling down and building up on the sidewalls and actually building up like some kind of nasty, uh, thick gumminess. You know, um, dang, wish I could do a little bit better of a job. It, it kind of looks like tar and it smells like tar. But, um, you know, man, this is uh, some pretty nasty stuff. So, you know, look at how that's winding down there. You know, my engine's always done this. I have 123,000 miles on my truck now. And uh, something's got to be done with this oil separation. The factory oil separator obviously is not doing anything. Um, I have the... Uh, yeah, this is a better shot there. You can kind of see how it's built up down there. You can see that. So, uh, something has to be done. And I contacted uh, and sent a company called Green Diesel Engineering an email or a message. And they said that they're just working on some programming to delete the CCV monitoring system or modify its uh, temperature parameters. As soon as that's done, I'm just going to have to ship my ECU out and have them program that out so I can put in a, a uh, the real system. I think it's, uh, I can't remember what the name is, but I'm going to have to install a better filtration system. I mean, I'm going to have to install a paper filtered uh, positive system. This is This is ridiculous. This is crazy. I mean, this stuff is nasty. Let me rub my finger in it. Yeah, this is thick. Dude, this is like thick and gummy. Holy shit. This is, this is crazy shit, dude. You can't have this going into your intercooler. This may be why my intercooler is bleeding. I got oil bleeding out of my driver's side of the tank. Holy cow. Yeah, th this is some... This is some nasty stuff. I mean, phew. but, uh, man, I, I don't know what else to do. I have done everything that I can to prevent uh, this stuff from going through and hitting the turbo. See, the pr thing is, is this oil is leaving the upper valve cover, and it's coming into the turbo, and the turbo has veins. It hits those veins then actually open and close like this to speed up and slow down the turbo and uh, and increase and decrease the amount of uh, air volume that that little turbo can uh, produce. So it's hitting those VNT veins and uh, the problem is is this oil collects on that and it'll seize those things up. It'll see it just seizes them right up. It burns on like carbon and oh my god this is horrible. I mean, I don't know what else to do. This is, 
this is crazy. So there's my progress on that. But uh, you know, if if Green Diesel Engineering can delete that out and I'll create a new system, but I'll put keep you posted. This is my progress so far. Man, this sucks.